before. It is right after a very fresh rainfall. As I always tell you guys, fresh rainfall, hunting after that is prime time. So we're gonna actually head down to a spot we haven't hunted at all this season. We're technically in the jungle of Oregon now, so who knows, there might be a big bull down there waiting for us. Fingers crossed and hopefully we get some action tonight. If not, then maybe tomorrow, but we'll see. in the morning didn't really vlog this morning because it was so foggy so rainy that I just didn't want to pull out the camera and get it all wet but right now I don't know the fog is lifting visibility is pretty far now you can see out to a couple hundred yards uh, usually we glass them up and then we come over but since this morning was so foggy we just decided to come over here and just give it a try you know, it kind of rained, so hopefully this weather right here makes the elk stay out in the open a little longer than last time. We'll see. Should be a fun one. Hopefully. here 
the elk are bedded down here. He's gonna get on top of them. We think the elk are working up anyway, so uh, Chinu is basically gonna try to just get on top right now. And basically when the elk come up, hopefully he'll just arrow one. Uh, they're kind of just hunkered down, they're just bedded right now. Um, some of them are just feeding around, mealing around. But it's only one o'clock in the afternoon, so you know, it's prime bedding time. But I don't know, Let's, we'll let Chinu, he has the GoPro on. Um, I'm just gonna sit afar and basically they just keep tabs on the elk and we'll see. We don't have any radios, so basically I'm just keeping an eye on the elk. Fingers crossed, let's do this. Well, there's Chinu and he is basically on top of the elk. Chinu is right up here. Elk are right down here. So it looks like Chinu sees him. But he's pretty far down from him. Or far from him. Chinu's getting ready to shoot. He just shot. I think it's game over. I think the wind changed direction. Majority of the elk, they're on their feet. And they're... They're running.
so we finally made it back to the car or the truck uh, as always we're just gonna quickly recap so this is two days combined uh, yesterday was I guess I'll call it day four but it was more of a half day it wasn't even really hunting we were just kind of exploring uh, we left the house around 12 o'clock in the afternoon yesterday so uh, we were planning to go hunt a new unit but got over there uh, it didn't go as planned so we just headed back uh, here for the evening and yesterday evening uh, we did bump two elk we don't we have no idea what it was but we're thinking those two cow elk uh, we went down the road didn't find anything we found an elk shed my first official elk shed so that's pretty cool especially because it's a Roosevelt too so then uh, we came here uh, we just said we're just gonna go back and change uh, where we know there's elk came back here uh, we went up there this morning it was super foggy couldn't glass at all so we we're just like let's just go in blind uh, because with the weather like this it's common for elk and deer to just bed out right in the open so we hiked about six six and a half miles got to the last drainage the last drainage that we checked sure enough there's a herd of elk there there was four spikes and like 10 11 12 cows and so we decided to just glass them up they were bedded right in the open as we, we thought they would be uh, basically long story short five hour stock uh chinu had him right around like 60 something yards uh six mid 60s and chinu shot right under they had no idea what was going on or the spikes they had no idea what was going on but the mature cows they obviously knew something was wrong so sure enough they eventually just trotted off went to the timber so first arrow that we got to fling in oregon or this year and we missed but yeah and then basically we were just coming back we were doing the walk of shame basically i was i was kind of ahead of you knew and i looked down the drainage and sure enough i saw the body of the elk and i was like dude there's elk down here and then it turned out to be a, a big herd of elk they were basically it was like picture perfect everything you want in a spawn stock was right there you know it was spontaneous uh they came within bow range just there was no bulls that's basically it we're gonna go home uh, tomorrow saturday september 1st officially september so she knew has some stuff to do so tomorrow and sunday i'll probably just be editing videos for you guys to watch and then monday tuesday wednesday we'll hit it hard thursday i'm flying back home and we will be then we will start our washington series and so hopefully we'll be able to get one in oregon here soon and get one in washington and after that we'll be going to idaho so that's the plans for now uh, this is it for this video and yeah once again thanks for watching guys Thank you.